Okay, what you've looked at so far is how to compute the probability of being in any state of a birth-death process as t tends to infinity. But what about the time evolution? So what can you say about how the probability of being in a particular state evolves with time? So to understand this, to s we need to go back to the rate matrix. Uh, and so remember that we had this, the, these different states of a birth-death process. And we have the rate at which we exit a state, either to go up or down. And then, of course, we have the self-loop, which you never really draw, but uh, which the probability or the rate at which you continue to be in the same state. And so if we, we leave the state to go to the next state at the rate lambda j, we go to the lower state at the rate mu j, and then we stay in the same state at minus lambda j plus mu j. And these are the uh, values uh, corresponding to this birth -death process. We completely define it. Um, without uh, proof, I'm just going to state for any continuous time Markov chain, the following tr holds true, which is that the rate at which we change d pi j by dt, the rate at which the probability of being in state j, ch state j changes is given by q j j pi j t plus sigma k not equal to j q k j pi k t. So uh, to understand this equation, what you're saying is that the rate at which we are going to be uh, uh, leaving or entering the state, the rate which is the probability of being in the state changes is the self, uh, the rate, at which, uh, rate at staying in that same state, so it's uh, the self rate, uh, plus for all other states k, such that k is not equal to j, this is the transition rate of entering state j from state k, multiplied by the probability of being in that state k. So we kind of can think of it as pi k is the probability of being in state k, and then we have the flow of probability at a rate q k j from k to j, and then q j j is the rate at which the probability of state j accumulates. So here we can think of probability as being something like a fluid, and the rate at which the amount of fluid uh, in state j changes corresponds to the amount of fluid that stays in the same state, which is this QJJ rate, uh, and add to it the flows from upper and lower uh, states, the states above and below, which are given back here. Now, if we plug into this the values for a birth-death process, then we can find the transition probabilities for a birth-death process. So. Uh, we can, for, for, for a birth death process, we can plug in the value of QJJ, which is nothing more than minus lambda J plus mu J. So we know that that's just the tra that's a QJJ for a birth death process, and that multiplied by pi J T plus, and then we only have two other states that talk to state uh, J, which are J minus one and J plus one. So, and these values, this expands as we've seen before to lambda j minus one, uh, pi j minus one t plus mu j plus one, pi j plus one t. And, and we also need the boundary condition, which is that d pi zero t by dt is going to be given by minus lambda zero pi zero t plus mu one by one t. And uh, that's just to account for the fact that uh, at state zero, we don't, we, we don't have a departure when we have arrivals. So uh, this uh, set of equations gives us everything we need to know about the rate at which we are going to be transitioning out of states in a continuous time Markov chain.